welcome back. In today's video, I'm going over how you can create your own monthly calendar that includes your own artwork. I have already started mine. I created a document that was eight by 10 because it is easy to print either at home or with a printer because I do plan on printing it at home. I'm not putting a bleed on this at all. So I want to go ahead and create a template and then put in all the information. So the first thing I'm going to grab is the rectangle tool. And you don't have to be too precise with this. I'm going to say my illustration will take up, actually I want it to take up a good bit of this. So I will do this and just so I remember that it is there because that gray can kind of get lost. I'm just going to change this color. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make a small rectangle. I'm going to take the fill color off and then up that stroke to, I'm going to try one, and that's too much. I'm gonna go down to 0.5. And then grabbing the text tool, I'm just going to put two X's in the spot for the date because I want to get this laid out first. Put this at the very top. Grab both of those, hitting Alt and Shift to hold in place. And then if you hit Command J, this will duplicate it and you need seven of these. And as you can see, it is not fitting all the way across, which is absolutely fine. Grab these and then shrink them down so they will fit into the space. Doing that makes your font a little weird. So I'm just going to delete that start again. Okay, so once you have all of that done, select these. Once again, hitting Alt. And you want five rows. I don't want to make these any smaller, so I'm going to move this up and then adjust where my image is going to be. Once again, with the text tool, make sure to put a spot for the month. I want this centered. So going up to what looks like a bar graph and then align horizontally and then center. And once again with the text tool, go ahead and holding alt and then duplicate with Command J again. So there you have a template that you can save and reuse over and over. I'm just going to quickly update this to have the dates for January. So once you have the dates in, you can obviously customize it some more. You could take out these empty spots or you can leave them in. I'm leaving mine in. I think they leave a nice section to write any notes in that you don't want to forget. And obviously you can customize it even more by updating the font to something of your choice. So once I have everything in, I'm just grabbing everything at the bottom and then I'm going to group those by hitting Command G or right click and group. And the last thing I want to do is place in my illustration. So file, place and I'm just going to place it here and I want to make sure that it's centered and then I'm going to drop this below that original rectangle but if you see how it goes in slightly almost like a quarter in that means that it is creating a clipping mask so it will fit in only that shape. So I'm happy with the placement of this image. Once again, like I was mentioning, you can update and customize the bottom. So for example, I could select everything and change it to that brown to match the illustration. And now all that's left is to print it out and to start adding in any information that I want to make sure I don't forget. So I hope you enjoyed this video. After the new year, I will post two new videos 
one on creating a daily schedule for yourself and one on creating a weekly schedule. So you can set it up and customize it and have any information that you find necessary. If there's anything you'd like to learn, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.